This episode of the Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment Podcast is sponsored by Magic Mind. What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McB here. And I would like to thank you for tuning in to Season 9, Episode 161. I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. You know him, you love him. Mr. Wildfire One. That's me. That, that's totally me, guys. Uh, <laughs> welcome welcome to the Nerds New Sexy Entertainment Podcast. Uh, it's been a bit, and I think this episode's going to be focused on us, like what's been going on. Why? Where have we been? What has been, been going on? A year and a half, almost two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of things have happened to the point that's that kind of kept us from doing things, and we'll we'll get to that. But uh, as as far as like as far as content goes, we've still been putting out gameplays on our YouTube channel. We've still been doing. Shit, we even got a TikTok now. Yeah, yeah. you know, we even got a TikTok now. We're even streaming on uh, on on Kick. Yeah. Yeah, we got a kick channel, and uh, we still we still got the Twitch, we still got the Facebook, and and, um, and YouTube. And... Yeah, and Ghostly Killers back with us as as a uh, mm -hmm. as a crew member, which is really cool. Um, but a lot's a lot's been happening, and I think we'll start off. Uh, Grizz, why don't you why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, what's been new with you? What what's what's kind of one of the reasons why we haven't been doing podcasts? Why 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 things have kind of been holding us back? Well, uh, on my end, uh, it's been a bit of a bumpy road. I went from being in a long-term relationship with the woman that I thought I was going to marry to not being in a long-term relationship with the woman I thought I was going to marry to uh, living alone to getting a new roommate to them moving out to getting a new roommate to dating another woman, getting in a relationship with her, and then moving her and her daughter in. Yeah. Uh, another nice young lady. So, yeah. They are both just freaking amazing. Uh, changed my life completely. Uh, you can ask uh, a while here. We've known me for quite some time now. Uh, I, I, can, I can honestly say that I... That I am happy for the first time in a very long time. Grizz has gone through some transitions. We won't get into too much, but there's been some transitioning and 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 him like myself has had several issues with uh the ladies in the past, you know. Uh we also, you know, we can also talk about the Vegas trip we recently went on uh here later on in the podcast, but uh, yeah. right now we'll, we'll we'll focus on what's kept us from doing this uh why we've been gone work has been the big thing for me in yeah. particular yeah um i got a promotion at work yeah i got a promotion at work i got a promotion <laughs> and they have you know the position that i'm in now uh i've been in that position for almost a year and i have been on all three shifts multiple times Oh yeah, like what, what, when he says three shifts, he means like day shift, morning shift, graveyard. He's he's been bouncing yeah. around, so it's been hard to find. Like you'll notice that, yeah. as opposed to like I want to say four years ago when he and I were playing games like Hand Over Fist and, and doing gameplay videos, we don't have time to do that. We can't. We don't have much time to to do that. We have time to do it. We just got to be more um, strategic. Yeah. On when we do it. Yeah. Mainly on on our days off, because mm -hmm. thankfully now we both share a day off. It, uh, yeah, at the very least, thank God. And, and that's when we've been doing a, a bit more of our our gameplay, and we we've been planning to start this season for the last six months. Oh yeah, and then and it, it seems like every time we're like, we we set a date and a time to get together to do something. Something else happens. Either there's there's some catastrophe like the grand flood of california that that we both had to deal with me last more year so than him oh no i dealt with it I had, to, I had to roll my car to work at one point oh uh, yeah but you weren't stuck on a mountain for no that that straight. that's true <laughs> two 
to you know family emergencies that have happened on on your mom family. went to the hospital well my mom went to the hospital my dad went to the hospital it was it was yeah it was a past um yeah it's 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 been a bumpy bumpy ride to say the least for for both of us oh um, yeah and now i, I know we, we always joke that that wild and I are are our brothers you know he's my younger brother even though he's older than i am but i mean o- over the years we the bond that we share just with with how our minds work and how well we mesh together uh when we work together and then now with us gaming and you know the 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 camaraderie and how close we've become we are family oh yeah i mean oh yeah just a, a quick snippet for the the vegas trip yeah the vegas was, trip was uh, for, uh, for thanksgiving for, for wild family that's yeah. kind of a thing that they do and wild's mom said hey you need to call you need to call grizz and tell him he has to come with us yeah and i was like well if i can get it off if i'm going guess what my boss is like yeah no you need to take a vacation <laughs> <laughs> It was a so, fun trip too. It really it, was. It, it really was. It really was. Uh, we got to stay at the uh, the flamingo. Yes. Where we got to see flaming mingos, as the grizzly put it. <laughs> the flaming mingo. You <laughs> and, put that on TikTok, didn't you? Yeah, that was on the TikTok. Yeah. I was. It had the music and everything in the background, and and like the the, the Lord of the Rings music of all all things. <laughs> yeah, and and you're just like flaming mingos, and it was it was beautiful. Uh, I tried but, to do my best. Uh, uh david Attenborough, yeah impression yeah and it was it was a fun it was a fun trip we got to do a lot we met we met we got to meet a few people we got to see some stuff and it was it was a good time uh vegas was jack sparrow oh yeah i was just about to bring that up we uh we got to meet uh, a guy named a guy that dressed as jack sparrow and kind of kind of like cosplayed and characterized him and uh one of the street performers yeah he was one of the street performers uh and he stopped he us. Nicest people we met. The really, week really freaking cool guy. At six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. On the strip. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, it was just yeah we were going to get some donuts that morning. Yeah. We were freaking throw. We were hungry, so we went to Dunkin' Donuts, and we're like, man, we want some fucking breakfast. So we went there, and and the guy stopped us right outside of Dunkin' Donuts. Is like, and he's like, hey man, what's your favorite color? What's your what's your name? And and uh, and we we both got one of those uh, penny. That he asked me for. I gave him two pennies. He painted them, and then pulled out a little Dremel. Mm-hmm. And while he's looking at us, talking to us, carved our name in one side, flipped it over, and it started. What it was a uh, Las Vegas, a star, a moon, and then twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Making on eye contact with us, not even looking at Ta- the penny. talking to us the entire time, and ta- ask us what our name was, our favorite oh, color. Cool. Really cool guy. Really good. Really good at what he did. Everybody working at Dunkin' Donuts was at the front of the counter going, who the hell is this guy? We've never seen him here. Yeah, we've never <laughs> seen him before. So, yeah, that, the Vegas trip was fun. Uh, we were tired by the time we got home, though. Um, oh, yeah. The, by the end of the trip, we were ready. We were just ready to come home and rest. The, the last two years for me, one of the big reasons I uh, we haven't been able to do podcasts and uh, you, I don't know if you can probably see it a little bit in the background in, in some of the videos that we've done, like the Nerd uh, Chronicles and stuff. Um, I moved. I sold my house. Uh, it just got too expensive to live in California by yourself. And uh, Grizzly understands that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but being a homeowner. Roommate. Yeah. Being a homeowner and having that stupid uh, house tax you know, the land tax every year to deal with and all this stuff. I finally said, fuck it. Um, so, you know, me and my dad, Sofisto got together and we, we sold the house and I'm still in the middle of, I don't know, kind of getting things together back there and getting things right and getting things kind of like how I want it to look. It's not quite like my old house where I had some really cool, like decorations on the walls. I still got it here, but it's not, by far where I want it to be. You know what I mean? This is, this is my nerd room here and I, I want to, I want to make it perfect. And it's, I, I've moved maybe about a year ago, but there's been so much going on that it's hard to, yeah. it's hard to well, keep it, it going. It, it, it was also because you were needing to help take care of your folks. Yes. That, that's, and that's kind of what kept me from doing podcasts. And, and, and so we kind of focused on gameplay for a little bit, which we had, 
uh, I, I still have a shit ton of gameplay videos from when I was living alone. And, uh, and I still have a shitload of gameplay. Yeah. I think between the two of us, we still probably have, I'd say probably close to a thousand hours of video game, video oh, game gameplay that yeah. needs to be edited to make videos to put out. So, um, you can expect plenty of content from us. There, there's no shortage of it. That oh, is yeah. for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just it's just the time to do. Like, is a difference for me when it comes to like editing videos, and and then there's they're like night and day to like editing podcasts. The podcast takes I don't know for me it takes a little longer. It's it's yeah. and there's a lot more to it. We got to talk. We got to talk about a certain. Um, a certain like topic and, and, and we all got to, you know, we all got to find the time to do it. It's always harder when you're doing stuff with other people and there's no blame. It's just life. We're because we go on our little rants where we completely get off topic and yeah. Or what, there was that one podcast we did where we realized we were recording for like four and a half hours and it ended up being a 45 minute podcast. Yeah. Which, which, going on rant. which that's it's that good. it's so hard to edit that, you know, like, <laughs> But it was, you know, it. This is this is a labor of love. I love to do this stuff, and and this is why we do it. We're glad. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to do this definitely, again. Definitely. Uh, it feels yeah, like it's, it's been. It's almost like there's a a weight lifted off our shoulders for finally getting to start season nine. Yeah, and you know what to be talking about it and trying to plan it for so long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even Monster Monster just got through with a big move, and yeah. He's just getting his internet back and you know, it's, 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 it's tough, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, like the first few podcasts, we got to get back into our stride. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like it takes a minute to kind of get like where we were, at least in yeah. our head, if that makes sense. Just getting back on the bike. Yeah. To get back on the bike and ride it and, and, and getting in the groove, especially after for like what two, almost two years, it's, it's tough. That's one thing that's key that's been keeping us from doing it. There's it, uh, that's actually more, uh, probably one of the biggest things was my move and and having to uh, having to having to just change my life. I had to up uproot myself and go somewhere. And it was almost it was actually very uh, the move happened quick. Yeah, if you remember yeah, correctly, like one week I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm thinking about it, and the next week it's like, okay, well, we got the money, it's time to go. <laughs> and also, also moving out of that house like i had a lot of memories in that house like that was my yeah. grandmother's house just so you guys know uh that, that i grew i grew up in that house and selling it was also kind of sad and emotional on top of uh a relief because like i said it was getting too expensive to leave in a house by myself yeah but because of that um and i like i when i told these guys i was like hey guys i'm moving um Unfortunately, for the moment, we can't do certain skits anymore. We can't do like we 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 were planning on doing the the games from the crypt that year. Yeah, and um, because because of the move, there's there's just nowhere to do it. Yeah, unless we do it like it at Grizz's house, but My Grizz house. but Grizz is like an hour and a half, an away. hour and a half, two hours away from us. So you know, and then like I like to say, we're nerd working nerds. We got to find the time to do it. Well, especially like between my schedule, your schedule, monster schedule. I mean, we all work. Killers schedule. Yeah, yeah we all work. Full time jobs. Um, Wild and I are the only ones that have a day off together. Mm -hmm. um, We're lucky for that. Monsters days off are two days before ours. Two days, like like during the week. I think. Yeah, and uh, uh, Ghostly Killers' days off are always fucking random. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, that that guy, I think he does odd jobs. I think he, I think he sells cocaine or something. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, Grizzly was uh, moving his nostrils. Oh, I'm sure they could hear it. Oh, okay. My mic picks up a mouse fart from a mile away. Oh, you know what? That's another thing we need to talk about. You have a PC now. Yes, I have a PC now. Um, I have a gaming PC. Um, I'm finally a big boy. I'm an adult now. I bought my own PC after I was no longer in a long-term relationship with the woman that I thought I was going to marry. 
some no, funds no, no. some funds kind of became available yes. so uh i bought a pc uh a gaming desk um a podcast setup yeah yeah you, and you got a nice little setup uh the even your little podcast mic that you got is is really it's it's working well i mean it's it's not top of the line but it works perfectly it's got the camera it's got the light um it's got everything i need and uh, it works out great. I mean, for those of you that have watched um, my game streams on on Twitch on our our uh, NIT NSC uh, page, it worked out great. Every once in a while, I have a few uh, audio issues. Was that the one I helped you find, or was it? Did you find that one yourself? I can't remember. No, you were helping me find the um, the Ethernet splitter. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. So that I don't have to keep unplugging the internet from my PC and plugging it back into. Did, did you order that? My PlayStation. No, I still haven't gotten it. Yet. Okay. Yeah. The if it's the it's the same one I got. It's fucking amazing. Like that. It's a great Ethernet splitter. Um. I also got. I also got an HDMI splitter recently. Uh, oh, nice. For you know, for when I stream games and. But I got the SNES Classic, the PlayStation Classic my switch and all this other stuff and i and i'm running out of ports so i had to, so i bought this one with a really cool um it has a really cool like setup and i can i can use a controller to change ports say like i'm across the room or something and and on top of that it i got another uh capture card that works a lot better the dude i had i bought el got the elgato capture card like the top yeah. of the line when it for when it was first out the the specific one i got i can't remember but it was like the oh, best of the was years ago it was it was the best i had nothing but problems with that fucking card i had pro every, every time i did something the audio was fucking up um the video started messing up i don't know what was going on i thought maybe it was my port would i my audio my usb ports or maybe my power wasn't i had so much trouble with that so i i ended up going with something that um we knew someone else was using so i ended up going up with that and it, it's working fine now everything's fucking fine oh got to fuck you that's all i gotta say oh god oh god you know, like the 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 Elgato was a very disappointing capture card, but yeah, you can expect more gameplays from us, and we've been playing a bunch of really fun games. I uh, got yes, we have. I've got I've Grizz finally... into into uh, a Lethal Company, which we've been enjoying immensely. Um, yes, and then I finally got a game that I've been wanting to uh, been wanting to play for a while. That uh, I'm going to. Hopefully, when I get time after I finish streaming all the other games that I've been streaming, uh, welcome to the backlog. We, yeah, we've um, we've got three games that we haven't even started playing because we've been playing all these other games mm -hmm. that we're wanting to do full full play streams on. Yeah. Um, and then we've got ideas of other games that we're all wanting to get and do that we've been talking about for on. years but, yeah and now we've got people from outside of of the crew that are wanting to join in on really and funny people we, too yeah when we do finally get said games because we play other games with them and they enjoy playing with us yeah um, and we enjoy playing with them. I recently played a Lethal Company with Jesse Valentine, F seven seven seven, and uh, he was. We had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, and that was the other day. I told I told him about the game. He's like, "Oh man, what game is this?" And we all played, and it was it was fun. And we we might do a stream on that in the future with him. I think that people will really yeah, like that. Definitely, that would be oh, yeah. Because he's down. Yes. He's he was he was talking about. It. In fact, he he texted me the other day and he was like, "Man, I really want to play again. That was fun." I know we were talking about work. I know my work's been kind of crazy. A lot of a lot of problems. I've been having a lot of problems sleeping. Uh, for those of you that have been watching our content for any good amount of time, you'll know that I drink like three or five energy drinks a day on top of like two or three cups of coffee. Something was introduced into my life that on the busiest day of the year for where I work, which is New Year's Eve, I took one little shot. I didn't have coffee. I didn't have the urge 
to drink an energy drink. You didn't have like the you didn't have like the jitters and all that other stuff. Or the need to yeah. drink an energy drink. And I'd I'd read I'd read this online about this product. Uh the flow state. You know what I mean? Uh and like yeah. like be like being being centered in and kind of having tunnel vision on what you want and what you need to do. And it, when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, you know, that sounds but it's true. It it really yeah, you know, and and when it was first mentioned to me, I had never heard of it ever. Yeah. And and after after trying it, I see it everywhere. Oh yeah, it's it's all over the place. And what we're what we're talking about is a uh, magic mind, and that is who is sponsoring this this podcast. A lot of people, you know, doing sponsorships or whatever for for different products, and it just it doesn't seem legit. Yeah. Right. Until you actually try the product. And you get that experience and that feeling of, wow, it actually does what it says it, it it will do for you. Well, yeah. I mean, just look at the ingredients. Lion's mane mushroom. Yeah, lion's mane mushroom. Matcha. I've never tried matcha before. I've honestly, like, I'll, I'll put it this way. The, I've been taking it. This is like the fifth day, I want to say. And I've been kind of, one of the things I hate about myself is that sometimes I get stuck on a word. I'll sit yeah. and, and I'll sit and I'll just think of that word. Like, damn it. What's that word? Lately, I haven't. I just articulate. It just comes out like it's all. Like I said, when I said that the flow state's a thing, it really is because you get tunnel vision. You 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 know what you're doing. You know what you're saying, and it comes out easier. It's easier to think. You're focused. Uh, my I'm super focused. Yeah. And in my job, I have to be focused. Oh yeah. I have yeah. to be on point at all times, or you know, my life or my coworkers' lives or the guests' lives are could be in danger. And if I'm not at that point to where I'm focused, it, it could go bad. You remember Crispy Bacon, who we, who we used to play with back in the day? Yeah. He, he and I worked together, and he's, you know, my break buddy. He's my work buddy. Me and him, when we go on breaks, we'll grab an energy drink, we'll go out. And uh, that day, he's like, man, you haven't had an energy drink since we clocked in. I was like, I don't need it. So I started telling him about Magic Mind. And he's like, dude, you got to let me try this. Like you stay focused, like I was saying. But at the same time, when it's time to sleep, nothing's keeping you from doing that. And there's no crash. I mean, I slept th th that night when I got home. You know, normally I get off at midnight, midnight 30. And I stay up till four, five, six o'clock in the morning before I can finally fall asleep. Yeah. I was out cold by one o'clock. And it wasn't because of a crash. It was just my body was relaxed. I, you know, didn't have all the jitters from all the sugar and all the caffeine from, from energy drinks or from oh, yeah. coffee. This January only, Magic Mind can help you gear up to crash your 2024 New Year's resolution. Fully focused. And believe me, you will be fully focused. Super focused, man. You, know, you get one month for free when you're subscribing for three months at www.magicmind.com slash J-A-N, all capital, like January, N-I-T-N-S-C. And you guys can check that link out below. The, the and, link will be and down with there. our code N-I-T-N-S-C-20, you get an extra 20% off, which gets you to a 75% off That'll last till the end of January. So hurry up before it goes away. And I'm telling you, it's worth I've it. I've already shared this with like ten people at work who are very excited because they saw me firsthand and the experience that I had with it because they all work with me in the same things that I do, and they saw a difference in how I was focused, how I was getting things done the way that I needed to in a timely manner on the busiest day of the year for us. And it's, it's been a, it's been a, a legit, like pleasant experience. So yeah, back to, back to what we've been up to and what we're, what the thought 
the thought process of we're, we're trying we're doing again this is season nine we're starting season nine honestly if you think about it if we continued the podcast if we didn't have interruptions we'd probably be on like we season season 11 yeah probably on like season 11 by now because i remember in the beginning we were doing like two seasons a year yeah um, but once we started the the video podcast we were doing just the one season a year mm-hmm. Well, it's because we branched out, and now we're doing videos. And now we're doing games. so much more. We're yeah. doing, we're doing, you know, the podcast. We're doing gameplay. We're doing skits uh, when we can. We're doing, mm-hmm. we're doing like anything we can think of. We're, we're. we're I mean, tabletop stuff. We're yeah. I was gonna say we're even scheduled this weekend, Sun- yeah, this Sunday to play uh, a game called Lasers and Feelings. Yeah. So, uh, and I've been and 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 Clovis who has been. Uh, asking me about this game for at least two years now yeah. since we've done Mermaid Hunters, since we did Yelp. It was so fun. Yes, he's been asking about that. So um, it's finally time we can do this. And it, it, of course, again, the the big issue is like, hey guys, when can we all get together and do this? And it's always, it's so, you know, it usually starts out with, okay, I got like Mondays. Oh, okay, I can't do Mondays. Okay, I got thursdays okay well i can't oh sundays okay we can all do sunday what time okay this time this time this time is good all right and of course sometimes shit happens and like we were talking about how um life just gets in the way sometimes like moves and you know people get sick things just happen sometimes you can't help it again we we this is this this project started out as something to get my mind off of depression yeah and, and you pulled me in yeah. because of my depression. Yeah. So and, we can we can also mention the fact that uh, in the time that we've done the last podcast, I almost died and had to have that surgery. That that's, that's fucking so true. We we don't do this as a job. We do this because we enjoy it. Yeah. I and, this this doesn't pay my bills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, Working we, pays my bills. Season nine starting, guys. Uh, who knows? Back, maybe. Well, well, the, the the different, the only thing different with this season, as we usually, we usually, uh, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. We usually do podcast recordings months in advance. Yeah. Uh, because of certain things going on now, we're doing it kind of like we did in the beginning, where we're going to record week before and then edit and put it out and then go from there. Um, so it is now Saturday at one forty-two in the morning. And this is going out on Sunday. Like Wild said, usually when we we start the season, we'll have four, five, six podcasts already pre-recorded, edited, scheduled to go out. Yeah. This season, we're doing this podcast right now, trying to catch everybody up on why we've been away for so long, um, what life's been throwing at us, what we've been dealing with, all that good stuff. Um, and it will go out either this Sunday or the following Sunday. And in that time, we will do one more podcast. The following week, we'll do another podcast. And so on and so forth. And and what we're, what we're striving for more, uh, this season and going forward is to try and like with, with certain topics, like when we bring up about movies and such, right. So I know, uh, uh, a few seasons back, uh, we were talking about upcoming movies. Yeah, um, on a podcast, we did it for like two seasons in a row. The first, yeah, the first yeah. episode. Well, well, we we did that podcast, and then by the time it came out, other movies were announced that weren't on that podcast. Yeah, because unfortunately, yeah. that's just how how editing like that happens. You know, you want to stay ahead of the game, but at the same time, the game continues moving on. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, expect more podcasts. I think I think this is a good time to stop unless there's anything we're missing. So guys, I guess that that's it for this podcast. We want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Remember, we have our phone number that you guys can call. 559-997-6803. Give us a call. We'll see you next week, guys. Till then, you want to stay nerdy? And stay sexy. Always. Always.